So, now let us do a quick revision on the subject of physics for class 12 CBSC. So, we will cover up the chapter number 2. So, that is electric potential and capacitance. So, here we will try to note down some important formulas at a glance. So, we have so the first one the potential energy stored between two point charges. So, given by u equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q 1 q 2 divided by r and number 2 the potential energy of a charge placed in an electric field. So, given by u equal to q into v where v is the potential at a point where the charge is placed. So, here q is the charge and number 3 the potential energy of two charge system placed in an external field. So, here you can see the two charges q 1 and q 2 of so, so, v 1 and v 2 so, separated by a distance r is placed in an external electric field. So, then the potential energy u is given by q 1 v 1 plus q 2 v 2 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q 1 q 2 divided by r. And number 4 the work to be done by an external agent to change the distribution of charges in a system is given by w equal to so u suffix so f minus u suffix i. So, where u f is the the final potential energy of the system and u i is the initial potential energy of the system. So, therefore, the work done so w equal to the final potential energy so minus the initial potential energy. <coughs> So, number 5 the work done in moving a charge so particle between two points in a field. So, if we consider A and B as two points. So, then so W A to B is given by Q into in bracket V B minus V A and this implies so for an external agent and and this is also equal to minus Q into so, V B minus V A. So, this implies by an electric field. So, where A to B is the work done in moving the charge Q from A to B and the electric potential V is given by. So, limit of W divided by Q naught as Q naught tends to 0 and electric potential due to a point charge V is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q divided by R the relation between the electric field and potential E is given by so minus dV by dr and that is equal to V by r. So, numerically we can write this particular formula and number 8. So, if n small drops of V volt each are combined to form a big drop. So, then the potential energy of so, then the potential of the big drop is given by V big drop equal to so, n raised to the power of 2 by 3 small. So, v small and number 9 the potential energy of a dipole. So, is given by u equal to so minus p e cos theta and that is equal to so minus p into e. So, where e is the electric field and the maximum potential energy of a dipole is given by p e at so theta equal to 180 degrees. And for an unstable equilibrium position, we have the minimum potential energy equal to minus P e and it is at theta equal to 0 degree and for a stable equilibrium position. And so, point number 10, the electric potential due to a short dipole is given by at axial point we have. So, V axis equal to so 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into p by r square and at equatorial point we have equal to 0 and the relation between the voltage on a capacitor and the charge stored in it is given by q equal to c into v and number 12 the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. So, in here we have c equal to the capacitance c is given by a into epsilon naught divided by d. And number 2 the capacitance in a medium of dielectric constant k 
is given by c equal to a into epsilon naught k so divided by d so where k is the the dielectric constant and the capacitance c if the space between the plate is partially filled with a dielectric of thickness equal to t so then the capacitance c is given by a into epsilon naught divided by d minus t into in bracket 1 minus 1 by k so where k is the the dielectric constant and number 13 so we will try to figure out the formulas for so capacitors so connected in series and in parallel so we have in series connection so 1 by c equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 so so this is the equivalent so capacitance so when the the capacitors are connected in series and where the charges q1 equal to q2 equal to q3 and the potential v equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 and if the capacitors are connected in parallel so then the equivalent capacitance c is given by the summation of the individual capacitance so that is c1 plus c2 plus c3 and the charges are q equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 and the potential v1 equal to v2 equal to v3 and that is equal to v so this is the the combination of capacitors in series and parallel formulas so next coming to the the point number 14 the charging of a capacitor so here you can see the charging of a capacitor so total work done by the battery is given by c into v square and the energy stored in a capacitor equal to half into c v square and heat loss in the process is given by half into c v square and number 15 the energy stored by a capacitor in other forms is given by u equal to half into c v square and that is also equal to q square divided by 2 c and it is further equal to half into q into v and number 16 so sharing of charges so here you can see so two capacitors c1 and c2 at voltages v1 and v2 so here we can see that the sharing of charges q so takes place like this so let if so v1 is greater than v2 so then the sharing takes place until both the capacitors get a common voltage across them and the common voltage is given by so vc equal to c1 v1 plus c2 v2 so divided by c1 plus c2 and the loss in energy in the process is given by so that is heat loss equal to half into c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 in bracket v1 so v1 minus v2 whole square and the initial charge on the capacitor is given by q1 equal to c1 into v1 and q2 equal to c2 into v2 and that is the final charges after sharing is given by q1 dash equal to c1 into vc and so where vc is the common voltage and that is given by equal to c1 so divided by c1 plus c2 into q1 plus q2 and q2 dash is given by c2 into vc and that is equal to c2 divided by c1 plus c2 into in bracket q1 plus q2 and number 17 the electrostatic energy density so given by u suffix c equal to half into epsilon naught square so half into epsilon naught into e square for air and u e is also equal to half into epsilon naught into e square say for in, so in any medium other than air and here you can see the effect of dielectric on capacitors so here you have so three four columns here so having the description of physical quantity in column one in column two we have so before the dielectric placed and in column 3 after the dielectric placed with the cell and column 4 so without cell so here you can see a summary of all the the effect of dielectric on capacitors 
and their physical quantities were listed in this particular table which summarizes as follows. So capacitance, so before dielectric placed is given by C naught equal to epsilon naught into A divided by D and after dielectric placed with the cell is given by K into C naught and without cell also it is given by K into C naught and the next physical quantity voltage is given by so before the dielectric placed is given by V naught and after the dielectric placed with the cell is given also by V naught and without cell it is given by V naught divided by K. So where K is the dielectric constant or medium and for the physical quantity charge stored so before the dielectric place Q naught is given by C naught into V naught and after the dielectric place with the cell is given by K into Q naught and without cell is given by Q naught. And for the physical quantity the electric field between the plates. So before the dielectric place is given by E naught equal to V naught divided by D and after the dielectric place with the cell is given by E naught and without cell is given by E naught divided by K. And for the physical quantity the energy stored is given by so before the dielectric place is given by u naught equal to half into c naught v naught square and after the dielectric place with the cell is given by k into u naught and without cell also it is given by u naught divided by k. And for the physical quantity force between the plates so before the dielectric place is given by f naught equal to Q naught square divided by 2A into epsilon naught and after the, the dielectric placed with the cell is given by K into F naught and without cell is given by F naught divided by K. So this summarizes the effect of dielectric on the capacitors. So next important formulas at a glance we have force between the plates of a capacitor given by F equal to Q square divided by 2A into epsilon naught and number 20 if n identical small drops are combined to form a big drop so then we have c so that is c big so the capacitance equal to so n raised to the power of 1 by 3 c small and for v big is given by n raised to the power of 2 by 3 into v small and for the potential energy u big is given by equal to so n raised to the power of 5 by 3 into u small and number 21 the sharing of charges so here you can see the sharing of charges between q1 and q2 so it takes place in such a way that the common potential vc is given by r1 v1 plus r2 v2 divided by r1 plus r2 and the heat loss is given by 2 pi epsilon naught into R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 in bracket V1 minus V2 whole square and the final charges are given by so Q1 is equal to R1 so divided by R1 plus R2 in bracket Q1 plus Q2 and Q12 is given by R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into in bracket Q1 plus Q2. So thus we have summarized all the important formulas and also the, the definitions and concepts. So regarding this chapter number 2 and made a last minute revision on this chapter. Okay, thank you.